Hey, YouTubers, something important, something kind of damn important. So I'm on the patio again, smoking a big ass cigar, as in the big ass cigar for life. Look at that big ass cigar. That's the Gran Habano, uh, oh, the house of keeping, uh, the Gran Habano, uh, smoking the Gran Habano lunch break, uh, Connecticut cigar, nice big ass cigar, uh, as in the big ass cigar for life. Uh, look at that big ass cigar. Uh, hashtag big ass cigar. Anyway. And I thought I'd just get on camera to shoot the shit, shoot the shit of you guys right now. Uh, yeah, I can't say that five times fast. Uh, shoot the shit. So, uh, yeah, shoot the shit of you guys right now. So, uh, it's a nice uh, fall day up here in Massachusetts. Uh, we say Massachusetts. Be so damn cold here, damn hot here, damn, damn, damn. Uh, yeah, nice fall day up here. Uh, just pan around. <clears throat> Anyway, so it's a nice fall day up here in Massachusetts, so. My cat is outside right now. Uh, yeah, my cat's outside and she's just walking around right now. Uh, just have to keep an eye on her. We saw a red-tailed hawk earlier, so uh, a red-tailed hawk. So uh, uh, probably too small to get the cat, but uh, we still want to keep an eye on her because uh, <clears throat> you never know if, uh, you know, wild animals. Uh, yeah, big-ass wild animals like the big-ass cigar being silly-ass like the big-ass cigar. Anyway... So yeah, it's just a nice day up here to shoot the shit, you know, uh, just talk about things. Uh, I slept late today, like I said in my earlier video. Uh, I'm just relaxing, um, having a big-ass cigar, isn't the big-ass cigar for life. And uh, yeah, it's a nice day up here, not too noisy. I know, uh, I think it was last weekend, it was really noisy up here. That People were mowing the lawn, uh, people were doing all kinds of crap, all kinds of shit, you know. Uh, just, you know, mowing the lawn, being real. Well, I, know, I understand it's their job, I <clears throat> excuse me, I understand it's their occupation, you know. Uh, but it kind of does dis distract me. So uh, what I'm trying to say is, you know, yes, I understand it's people's job. Uh, however, I'm just, you know, I'm pleased. I'm just kind of happy, you know, kind of happy ass, like the big ass cigar uh, that, um, it's kind of quiet. Just, I'm just kind of pleased for the, the nicer, you know, quieter weather. Or also kind of pleased for the quieter environment. So uh, I always prefer a quieter environment as opposed to a uh, loud environment. So uh, I understand people have their own occupations, their own jobs. I understand people have obligations to do, like mow the lawn. But I always do appreciate it. I appreciate it when it's not noisy. So... <clears throat> anyway, so just a nice, um, quiet day up here, not too noisy, just, uh, shooting the shit, you know, uh, talking about all kinds of crap, you know, uh, yeah, so yesterday at the Tip Glass Liquor Store in town, uh, like I said in my uh, video yesterday, they were doing a lot of tasting yesterday. I was, I was surprised. Uh, I haven't seen that much tasting, you know, that much like free sampling of uh, liquor or, you know, alcohol in general uh, since probably before COVID, you know, before the coronavirus pandemic started, you know. Uh, uh, it's been a while because there were four tasting booths, you know. Uh, they were tasting uh, bourbon, tasting uh, whiskey, uh, tasting, um, you know, wine. They had two wine tasting booths and, like, tasting tables. I was really freaking surprised. I mean, for a better word, I was pretty fucking surprised because, I mean... Uh, you know, I was surprised they had that much, you know, tasting booths. Uh, unfortunately, Wegmans has not brought back their tasting yet. So it kind of sucks, you know, but eh, you do what you have to do. So, and obviously I'm going very lightly on the alcohol right now. So uh, trying to only drink alcohol like once a month, you know, at the most. Because obviously the fatty liver, so... Uh, I cannot wait until I'm clear to the fatty liver because once I'm clear to the fatty liver, uh, I'm going to go back to, you know, yeah, probably one drink a day, you know, a couple drinks a week, you know, with no problem. It's like, you know, uh, because my, the root of my, for people who are wondering, who are just tuning in, uh, the root of my fatty liver is not related to alcohol. You might say, oh, it's because you were a heavy drinker, you know, you were a heavy drinker or a drug user uh, that you have a fatty liver. Uh, and actually, in my case, it's related to obesity, uh, related to poor diet, uh, poor food choices, et cetera, et cetera. So, 
Once I'm given the okay by my doctor, once my doctor, nice big ass doctor, like a big ass cigar, once he says, Evan, you are clear to the fatty liver, you are officially clear to the fatty liver, I can go back to probably, you know, one drink a day, one glass of wine a day, no problem, because honestly, it's, it's never been something that's been a problem for me. Ash fell. Shit. Shit. <clears throat> yeah, in my case, uh, the root of my fatty liver is just obesity related. It's just related to poor diet. Uh, and I mean, my liver function blood work came back normal. So maybe, I mean, who knows? I might, I might already be clear to the fatty liver. So, uh, but the fibro scan will really tell that. The fibro scan will really tell that. Uh, that's really the official test uh, because aside from taking like a tissue sample biopsy, like a liver, t liver tissue sample biopsy, sorry, can't talk fast. Uh, um, that's really the best test of the fibro scan. Uh, that will give the status of the fatty liver. Uh, because even my GI doctor said that the ALT and the AST is less accurate uh, it's not as accurate as the fibro score blood work or fibro scan. So uh, the, the fibro scan will really tell how the fatty liver is doing in terms of how, if it's progressing, if it's not progressing. And I will definitely, as soon as I find out, I will immediately make a video as, you know, ASAP because I want to let you guys know because I know I've been updating you guys a lot about the fatty liver. So Obviously, in my case, it's obesity related. It's related to poor diet uh, and related to back in 2017, 2018, you know, gaining 30 freaking pounds, you know, fucking pounds, you know. So, uh, yeah, in a lot of people's other cases, you know, a lot of other cases, uh, the fatty liver is the root of it is alcohol intake, you know, heavy drinking, hepatitis, or, uh, you know, uh, intravenous drug use, you know, heavy drug use. Uh, uh, but in my case, uh, sorry, uh, it's, it's related to uh, my weight. So my weight and my diet. Uh, and basically, I went on essentially back in the summer of 2017, a ice cream kick, you know, quote unquote ice cream kick. Uh, and I just started eating tons and tons and tons of ice cream uh, and started to completely like alter my diet, uh, drink lots and lots of soda, you know, fucking soda. you know, lots of juice, lots of orange juice. I used to have, you know, lots and lots and lots of pizza, you know, you know, big ass pizza, like the big ass cigar, you know, lots and lots of, you know, fried foods, lots of, well, not so much fried foods because I'm gluten free, yeah, but lots of like pizza, lots of sausages, lots of, you know, sausages, lots of, uh, for example, uh, you know, like hamburgers, uh, like, you know, red meat, lots of high red meat diet, uh, you know, very, very, very fatty foods, uh, very greasy foods, lots of candy. Uh, that's another thing. Uh, lots of candy, lots of sugary foods uh, like uh, Mike and Ike's, you know, the, um, the candy, uh, like chocolate bars, uh, lots of like sugary snacks. And that's where the fatty liver came from. The small amount of fibrosis came from. Uh, is not because I'm a, a alcoholic or because I'm a drug user, because I'm never, I've, I've never been a drug user, uh, nor have I ever been an alcoholic. It, in my case, it's uh, because I was eating like complete fucking shit. It's like, you know, for a better word, complete shit. It's like, you know, uh, I was eating like a, you know, like a pig. It's essentially like eating like a pig. And I'm not sure why I did it because it was looking back on it, I really regret it. I mean, you can't change the past, but I mean, I was eating like a freaking pig. I mean, like big ass pig, like the big ass cigar. I mean, just eating like a son of a bitch. I mean, I just like eating like a freaking pig, like just eating. A, yeah, I know a lot of people are going to, you know, troll me and, you know, flame me. But I mean, I was just eating like crap. I mean, back in 2017, 2018. And that's where a lot of this, you know, weight came from. And that's why I developed the high blood pressure, the high cholesterol, the triglycerides, and also the fatty liver. It's from all from that dramatic change in my diet. Because uh, starting in the, like the spring of 2017, I was actually losing weight. So... But then I kind of got lazy, kind of lazy ass, like the big ass cigar. Uh, and I finally, I started to get, started giving, giving into cravings. Uh, and I ate a lot of, you know, crappy, shitty foods. Uh, anyway, 
that's about all I wanted to say. So that's my little ramble there to shoot the shit, you know, shoot the shit of you guys right now. So uh, anyway, have a nice day, YouTubers. Bye-bye.